In this video of Node.js, we are going to cover about the callback function and what is this callback hell. As we have learned, like Node.js performs the asynchronous programming and callback functions is one of the way to help in that. Right? So let's begin with the callback functions. It is asynchronous equivalent for a function, right? Means whenever some task is done, this function will be called automatically. It helps in non-blocking code. Non-blocking code means the single thread don't have to wait for some task to be completed. As soon as a task is done, it will call it back to perform a particular action. And it also helps in uh, maintaining the performance of the single threaded as I said like it's asynchronous and it will definitely help it to maintain the performance. So let's take an example where I have not implemented the callback thing. In this example we are reading a file called input.txt and you see here we have included the fs, the module which is required alright. So this is synchronous programming, read file sync. So what will happen? Firstly, this program started will print, then read operation will be done, then we'll print the data and then program ended. But let's consider a scenario for reading a particular file, we will take some time. So if I'll do the same thing in asynchronous programming using the callback, how it will be done? Like program started and then we started reading the file, this is asynchronous. So meanwhile, this particular file is being read, we'll proceed to the next operation and we'll print program ended. As soon as the read file operation is done, this callback function will call it back and then these executions will be done. So let's see quickly how we can implement such programs. Okay, so in this particular program, uh, we are going to see the advantage of callback function. But before that, I am doing something without a callback. In this program, I am reading a file synchronously. Alright, so I haven't used the callback concept here. In this program, I have used internal uh, module called fs, which is file stream, and uh, using which I am reading a file called data.txt, which is actually located in the very same path as of my app.js file. All right, so it's just the uh, relative path. And here, as you can see, read file sync means I am reading it synchronously. All right, so first I will print this program, uh, this message, program started. Then I will read the data, I will print the data of the file, and then finally I will print the message, program ended. Since this go is going to be a uh, synchronized, synchronized program, all right, so let's see how the output will look like. So for executing this, I will say node app.js. So you see, program started, then the, fun the content of this file, and then finally its program ended all right but if i'll do the same thing asynchronously in this what is happening firstly i am printing this message then for proceeding with the execution i am actually waiting to read all the content right suppose if i have a bigger content maybe some mb's data is there in the file it will take more time and will stop all the process just because of reading that particular file all right so this is how a synchronized programming actually works but if I'll replace this code with the asynchronized programming, then the behavior is going to be changed. Now what will happen is first of all, it will print this message program started and then we'll start reading the read file with the method called read file, the same file data.txt. All right. But here I have, I'm not using it sync method. All right. So by default, it will be asynchronized and here I have passed a callback function as well. So what this callback function will do as soon as means this read file will start doing its task and will proceed to the other things like program ended the end of the message all right but as soon as this read file will be done with reading the data it will get a callback all right and in case if there is any error we'll print that error in case we are get getting the data we'll print that data but for reading that particular file will not stop our process all right so let's see how the difference coming in the output right so i'm again executing the same node app.js and here you see uh, program started program ended and then function all right let me see what is there all right since uh, two string is a function i need to have passed the parenthesis all right so let's re-execute this and here you see uh, program started program ended and then after that the data of the file is visible 
all right so this is how the callback function uh, enhances the performance of any program as it will not wait for any particular task to be completed and it will do the thing asynchronously all right after implementing callback functions let's see what is this callback hell basically what happens whenever you keep on nesting the callback functions to some number deep level it will create a pyramid of doom that actually looks like this means it is very uneasy code to read and if some programmer has done this and after that a new programmer is joining in his place it will be very confusing to understand after a particular extent this is again a very simple example reading a particular file but if it is a real life server application where you need to perform so many uh, functionalities back to back then it will be even some more level deep and more confusing so just to remove this callback hell problem what we can do like you can see there is a first function there is a second function there is a third function which we are doing in the callback rather than defining these functions in this way what we can do we can define these functions properly and then rather than defining it we can make a function call which will look something like this so what you see it's function 1 function 2 function 3 and whenever we require we are calling these functions rather than defining them right so it is much clearer code in the same callback applications so let's see how it will look like practically so as we discussed about callback hell here i have used a similar program where i am reading a particular file called data.txt as per my previous example but here i make it more logical like first of all i am checking whether the file exists or not if file exists I check that whether that particular file is readable means a proper file or not and if it is readable then we start reading the file using a particular Unicode format UTF-8 alright so here you see by the end of the program it's something like this alright which is we call a pyramid alright uh, and this is if you have some more deeper level programming it, this level will keep on increasing and it will not be as readable alright so this is what we call the callback hell so in order to rectify this what we can do rather than defining these callback functions as an anonymous right here we can make a proper planning we can define these functions separately and then rather than defining it here we can just make a call let's see here as it's again doing the very same task all right but here what i am done is i am reading this file again but the program execution will start from here like fs dot exists all right for this particular file I am checking whether it exists or not and th this task is being done by file exists function alright so rather than defining I call this function if this particular file is existing I will call fs.stat alright so to check the status so here again I will check the same file and with the method called status so here the status method got called if that file is a, this is actually a readable file which we can read We'll start reading this, all right, using fs.read file. And again, for doing that, we have the read file function right here, all right. This read file is for the fs built-in function it is, and this is what I have created, all right. Just to uh, remove the confusion, just let me change the name, all right. So read file with capital R is my own method, all right, which rather than defining, I am calling it here. So this is how this task would be done all right so let's see the output there will not be any change as it's just a simple file read operation so node app.js and uh, all right sorry I need to change the name of the file data all right and here you see this got printed all right so this is how you can remove the callback help problem by defining the each method separately and then making a call to them